You know, for expectant mothers, an emergency C-section can be just the first surprise. There is a risk many women don't know about, fetal lacerations. But as Karen Anderson shows us, local hospitals are just getting a new device that could help prevent them. A yellow school bus goes beep. They don't come much cuter than Sarah McGann, but the four-year-old from Plymouth had a tough start in this world. It's actually right there. Today, Sarah has healed beautifully, but this is how she looked right after being cut during a cesarean delivery. Well, the surgeon came over to me right after the procedure and told me that, unfortunately, it nicked the baby's face a little bit. What was your first reaction when you heard what happened? Like, why did it happen to, ha happen to my baby or whatever, you know, I was upset. What happened to Sarah is known as a fetal laceration. Our traditional means of reaching the baby with a scalpel um, can sometimes go a little too deep and you can get a baby with a laceration. The majority result in a cut like Sarah's, but an internet search reveals just how devastating some of those injuries can be. The 3% that are deeper can be very severe, can amputate fingers, can lead to facial lacerations that leave a scar. And that concerned Julie as she prepared for her new baby's arrival. I do have a lot of anxiety about having a third C-section. Um, because of that reason. They say good things come in small packages. This device is just coming onto the market. It's called C-Safe. costs $28 and it virtually eliminates the risk of a fetal laceration. This animation shows the initial incision is done with a blunt piece of plastic. But the real safety feature is that the blade then faces up. All the while, the baby never comes in contact with the blade. And now that C-sections are approaching 33% national rate, again, it's time to open up our eyes and do this differently. Easy to hold. Dr. Bridget McHugh of Jordan Hospital in Plymouth is ready to. Not only was her own daughter nicked during a C-section, but she lacerated a baby during a delivery. It impacts the next 30, 50 cesareans that you do. That you, everything after that is like, oh, are you sure? So it's, it's devastating. Julie, who's a nurse, agreed to let Dr. McHugh use the C safe. I could cut, put a lot of mother's worries at bay. And it did. I'm happy to say that when Dr. McHugh handed Rebecca McGann to Julie last week, she was perfect from head to toe. Just what every mother prays for. Karen Anderson, WBZ News. Yes, she is. C-section deliveries are now the most commonly performed surgery in the country.